Good day everyone. Welcome to Harris McSheffrey Music. Today I'm going to show you how I approach playing quarter tones on keyboards. So first things first, I'm going to show you my two keyboard setup. I've got a keyboard here which has a bit more range, not quite a full size range, but it's more than the range of the other keyboard. So I've got the Yamaha YPP50. Model number isn't especially important exactly, it's just a matter of functionality. And the other one's the Yamaha PSR E343. Anyway, here's the chromatic scale on one of the keyboards. 12 notes per octave. The other keyboard is also 12 notes per octave, but here's the difference. It sounds of course step higher. Now why is that? Well, I will show you right now, I've set the tuning up to A equals 453 hertz, which is roughly a quarter step up. It's close enough for the sake of our human demonstration. Anyway, here it is. So here's the C on one keyboard. A on one. So you get the idea, it's quarter steps going up between the two keyboards, jumping back and forth, of course. Anyway, I'll show you how I approach it in a nicer way. Okay. So, with one keyboard at A440, and the other one at A453, A440, A453, here's what they sound like together. A bit dissonant, but we'll find a way to make this useful. Anyway, here goes. So, on the main keyboard, the A440 piano, I can sh show you the chromatic scale. And if I go, but if we go back, if we do the chromatic scale in two hands at once, it sounds weird like this. Okay, it sounds clangorous. Well, what if we stack them between the hands? Well, I'll show you. Nice, isn't it? Well, it still may sound a bit weird, but that's because you're not used to hearing quarter tones if you're like most people. Okay. I'll show you a nice little idea that I used to warm myself up to quarter tone playing. Here's how it goes. Do a simple C neutral scale. How do I do this? Well, let's set up context first. The C major scale is C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Now, that's whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. Well, however, if you look at the key signature of C minor, natural minor, it's C, D, E flat, F, G, A flat, B flat, C. Now, if we split the difference between the two, we get C, D, and then the E a chord step flat, and then F, G, A chord step flat, B chord step flat, C. You notice I had to use two hands for that one. That's because they're on two different keyboards, and that's most people's scenario when using microtones in music. Not everybody has access to a nice quarter tone piano, like the ones you see in some videos of microtonally dedicated instruments. These keyboards are not dedicated to microtonality, but I've had to tune one of them a quarter step up with some electronic trickery to get them to work in quarter tone music. Anyway. Now, in most music, we're used to thinking of one hand doing one roll and the other hand doing the other roll. Like this. Now it's a bit of Mozart for you. Anyway, what we do in this quarter tone music scenario 
we have to have both hands be equally proficient at both roles. We have to have both hands equally proficient at both roles for this to work. However, sometimes we also have to pick which role we're going to play for the part we need to do. So, in this case, we'll start with the melody just for the sake of argument. Anyway, here. Here's the C neutral scale again. Left hand, right hand, left hand, left hand, right hand, right hand, left hand. Left, right, left, left, right, right, left. I'm saying that because of the hands I'm playing the notes with. Now you gotta practice this nice and slow with a metronome, like they did in the olden days and still do today. I'm going to show you a slow tempo on this metronome. I'll set the metronome to 40 beats per minute. 40. Okay. Wow, that was pretty slow, wasn't it? Well, that's kind of what we need to do to master this kind of technique between the hands. I had to think a bit hard for this one because I'm not used to quarter tone playing. I spent most of my life learning to play on one keyboard in 12 tone equal temperament, like most Westerners did. Anyway, here it is with eighth notes this time to demonstrate. Okay, still 40 beats per minute, quarter tone equals 40. Here we go. One, two, ready, go. You heard that right, we gotta practice. This is something not everyone's used to doing. I was not used to it too, so get an idea of what practice is going to take. Now let's try and triple eighth notes. One, two, ding, 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 ding. Let's see, I mean, see, you gotta practice. And here it goes. Doom, doom, doom. Sorry. <laughs> Brain fart. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway. One, two. There. Now, try this with 16th notes. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a... That switching between keyboards can be a challenge on the brain. But hey, it's good for you. <laughs> Use your brain in new ways. Keep that brain fit. <laughs> anyway, and because you might encounter it in modern contemporary music, quintuplet sixteenths. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> Sorry. Brain fart. See, this is why you gotta practice. One, two, three, four, five. Two, two, three, go, go. Sorry, but you get the idea. Okay. Done enough to you, make you sit through the practicing. Anyway, thank you. That's a basic C neutral scale for you. Now. Let's see if we can come up with some ideas in C neutral. <laughs> C neutral, let's see. Like this. next Spotify playlist or whatever, but... <laughs> <coughs> wow, that's so hard as I cough. That's how much fun this can be! <laughs> uh, yeah, I can do... Go around with a few things. <laughs> uh, I would use a pitch band if I had it, but I don't have one of any of these keyboards, so... Double keyboarding it is! <laughs> okay, thank you. Bye! <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I wish you all peace of mind and good health, however strange the times may be wherever you live. Thank you.